Advanced Hero Quest Gaming Aids Demonettes. How hateful these creatures are. They who abuse the minds of mortal men and suck them dry of their souls. They who feed upon the young and the beautiful, loving them to destruction and damnation. Yet these demonettes are alluring and persuasive, and they have used their considerable charms to seduce men and lead them to eternal damnation since time immemorial. The Bloodthirster, the Lord of Change, and the Demonette were the only three Chaos Demons to have rules in Advanced Hero Quest. Each was a powerful end of a quest big baddie. The Lord of Change came in at 20 points, with suitably powerful stats to boot. However, the Bloodthirster was only 12 points, with far less impressive stats, especially for a greater demon unlike its incarnation in the Realm of Chaos book in Warhammer Fantasy, which was a beast. The demonet stats felt like they went in the other direction, with very strong stats for a lesser demon. Well, at least that was my first take upon seeing them. But listen on as I put this to the test. An analysis of the rules for demonettes in Advanced Hero Quest. In this video, we are presenting rules for demonettes using our empirical method based directly on their rules in the Second Realm of Chaos book and comparing them to their AHQ incarnation. I'll emphasize that these rules are not here to replace the ones in Advanced Hero Quest, rather purely to provide a different take, one more in line with the rules for demonettes in Warhammer Fantasy Tabletop at the time. You may take these rules, leave them, or simply ignore them. What follows is the version that we came up with using our empirical method of converting over 3rd edition stats to Advanced Hero Quest, as well as the thought processes we went through as we did this. We are also comparing these rules to the original version of the Demonet in the rulebook, plus giving some commentary. Feel free to try these rules out, and of course any feedback is always welcome. Bravery and Intelligence the easiest characteristics to convert over are bravery, which equals leadership, and also intelligence, which equals intelligence. This gave us a value of 10 for both bravery and intelligence. Wholly appropriate for a demon, in my humble opinion. In the original AHQ version, the demonette had a bravery of 10, the same, but an intelligence of only 6, which is an interesting difference. It was perhaps a way to outweigh the bonus rules that they gave the demonettes. Hmm. Either way, it is not a stat that comes into play much during a game. Wounds. To generate the wounds characteristic, you simply add two to the Warhammer Fantasy Battle profile. This gave us three wounds. The original had four. Much of a muchness, in my opinion. Speed. Next up was speed. This was calculated by adding the movement stat to the initiative, and this gave us 10 for its speed. The same as the original. Toughness and strength. To calculate the toughness of a model, you add 2 to the original stat. This gave us 5. 2 less than the original version, which has a very high toughness of 7 especially for a half-naked life demon without much in the way of armor on. I think I prefer five. Next was strength. To generate this, you again add two. This gave us six, 
one higher than the original version. To be perfectly honest, slightly higher strength and lower toughness makes a lot more sense to me purely by what the model looks like and its portrayal in the lore. Bow skill and weapon skill. To calculate bow skill, you add plus two to the original Warhammer stat line, which gave us seven. The original AHQ version had a bow skill of one, which I assume is based on the fact that they were armed with claws. I do not agree with this interpretation though. Weapon skill is normally calculated by adding plus three to the stat value. This gave us nine, one higher than the original. Demonettes had a points value of 100 in the Old Realm of Chaos book, which puts them in the 12 point bracket, just like the original version. Damage. Now, what weapon a monster uses, cross referenced with their strength, affects the amount of damage they inflict. Demonettes fight with their claws and fangs. Claws and fangs can neither fumble nor cause criticals. This weapon type means that for our version, the demonette rolls four damage dice when they hit. In the original, they rolled three. Special rules. Demonettes get the following special rules in our version. Invulnerable, fearsome monster, and two attacks. All three of which appear on the original version as well. We did not give our version the ability to cast Flaming Skull of Terror once. Instead, we wanted ours to be a more combat-orientated version of the demon. And with that, the stats were complete. In summary, it appears that the original demonette was not as overpowered as I had at first thought, as the version directly converted over from their Warhammer Fantasy Battle stats has a very comparable power level. I think I can probably pin my misconception down to having played with and against demonettes in later editions and systems, and found them to be fairly weak and fragile. Uh, these experiences have definitely coloured my view, but the original Realm of Chaos version was a far more resilient creature, and its incarnation in Advanced Hero Quest reflects that. We, thus, 100% advocate using both versions alongside each other. Basically, the version that we have generated is a standard demonette, without any bells or whistles. It is more offensive and less defensive, which seems to suit the model and its entry in the Realm of Chaos book much better. The original version, with its added ability to cast a Flaming Skull of Terror, is more like a spell-casting champion, to my mind. Anyway, if you are interested in our version, we have turned these rules into four bespoke reference cards. Each has the same stats, but different art, each depicting one of the four different versions of the model that you can get your hands on. At least, uh, you could get your hands on. These have a back, so you simply print off the sheet, fold it in half, and glue. And as you can see, we laminate our cards. We have also created four versions of the original AHQ rules for demonettes on four cards. These two can be printed off, folded in half, and laminated. If you try out this alternate version in your games, we'd love to hear how they do. And if you have any requests for further monsters, please let us know. Enjoy your games, and remember that Slanesh wholeheartedly approves of all you do. Thanks for watching.